Block High started in 1910. It started with only a couple of hundred people in the student sections with a couple of plywood cards, one orange and one blue. And they started as painted wooden squares and eventually changed from wood to cardboard and then changed again and now we have plastic. Sometimes we take for granted that Black High has its own section. Before, it used to be on the sidelines and it formed an actual Black Eye in between sections. So, Black Eye has been around for so long that the first tickets for, only, like, for every single game were $14. It's actually Black Eye didn't exist for six years. In the 30s, uh, starting in 1939, they actually discontinued Block. Uh, because of the war, and it was reinstated in 1945. It expanded to uh, about 2,200 people in the 40s and 50s. And in 1954, uh, Block I split into two different sections. It was originally in the east side of the stadium, and they split up and made one on the west, and so that started a little bit of a rivalry back and forth between the two block chunks, and that kind of propelled them into uh, national prominence. Um, they used a lot of different color schemes. Uh, they used a lot more greens and yellows which, and reds, which doesn't make as much sense, but that's what they used. Uh, that year also, they were featured in a film by a 20th Century Fox called Stunts and Punts. It was shown all around the, the country of uh, different schools doing different things, um, kind of block related. Black Eye almost closed in the 70s because they didn't get $400 from their sponsoring company. They rallied together to get the $400. Without it, we wouldn't have 103 years of the tradition that we have at the U of I today. In 2007, Black Eye moved to the newly constructed North End Zone. We got it up to 3000 in the past year. How great is it to be a part of this tradition that's been around since 1910? Well, we started with 150 kids standing huddled together at Illinois Field, and now there's just over 3,000 of us in the north end zone of Illinois Stadium. You are running in there early to be in the front row. You create this big group picture, and you're instantly a part of the group that is Block Eye, and you get a feeling of being a part of the best university on earth. It's a great way to show support, not only for the team, but for your school and to show pride uh, in the U of I. Uh, we're in there, we're painting that whole North End Zone orange and how we're into it, and we're back in the team, we're getting everyone else into it. I think knowing that there are members that were black 50 years ago sitting in the stands. Slack Eye doesn't end when you graduate. It's something bigger than you and something that's been a part of this university for so many years. Black Eye has 102 years of changing traditions and awesome history. Be a part of the 103rd.